Good morning, everybody. As you guys can see, I did decide to stay home today just because I didn't feel very safe driving. Ina went to work this morning and said that the roads weren't clear. And um, right now it's kind of starting to snow again a little bit. You probably can't see, but yeah. I just don't feel safe driving this and I don't want to risk driving, you know, to work and getting in an accident and then coming home tonight is going to be awful just because of everybody trying to get home at the same time and I don't want to think about it and I don't want to have to worry about it so I decided to stay home today so I have a lot I'm going to do and get done and hopefully stick to this fasting day I've already debated a couple times on eating though which I'm not particularly fond of but uh we'll see what happens right um Right now, I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and then I will try to keep up my water today. I have some things I need to do on this list here on the fridge that we have and uh, kind of work on some wedding things. And hopefully, I work on some wedding things, I guess I should say, but um, that's the plan. Regarding my vlog last night, if you guys just came from that one, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, I was really irritated and frustrated about a single person or a person reaching out to me regarding my decision on wanting uh, skin removal. It just really frustrated me at that point in time last night and then today I woke up and I'm not nearly as angry about it as I was because I know life goes on and people have their own opinions on things and people get you know judged all the time for wanting to cosmetically change their body. I think everybody has a right to do what they want with their body because it's their body and I don't think any single person should have to have a say in what that person wants to do with their body. For example, right now I think my hair is a freaking disaster. I probably want to go do something to it, but I'm going to be home all day, so why do I want to? I don't need to. <laughs> you guys know me. I come to you like this all the time. No makeup, my hair not done. I am so open and honest with you guys, and whenever I am, and that backlash is on me, it's just very hurtful. It really just bugged me last night, I guess. But anywho, I'm going to get off here. Make my coffee because I need it. Girl needs her coffee on this cold winter day. And I'll talk to you guys later on this afternoon. I've had a pretty busy day so far and now I'm watching it pick up snow again. It's never ending. We haven't really had any snow this winter yet though, so it was to be expected at some point. And it is really pretty. I just don't like driving it because I don't feel safe. And even if I did feel safe driving in it, I would rather be the only one on the road while driving in it so that way um, I can just pay attention to my surroundings. For example, tomorrow morning I'll probably have to go into the office to run to get my workout in for the day since our treadmill is broke. So probably get up early and go run there and then that way tomorrow night too I'll have time to spend with Ian. It's his birthday. He's turning 26. My baby boy's growing up. <laughs> just kidding. But um... So I'll probably want to go into work early tomorrow anyway. I was already planning on it to be able to run and get my exercise in for the day. So I can spend all night tomorrow with him and everything. But like I said, it's been a busy day. I've been pretty good with fasting and you see how I hesitated there. And the reason I say that is because I made Ian some um, mini cheesecakes for his birthday tomorrow. And I kind of modify the recipe to make them a little bit healthier. So I'm kind of anxious to see how they're gonna turn out. Um, I used Swerve instead. I used a uh, light of butter and low fat uh, cream cheese. So they're a little bit healthier that way. And I had to taste the batter to make sure that it tasted good enough for him because it's for his birthday. And I could have done full fat and I probably should have, but I didn't because I kind of wanted to experiment. So sorry, babe, hope you like him still. <laughs> um, but that is kind of what I've been doing today. I did that. I walked around my house twice for 15 minutes to get in my exercise for the day because of our treadmill being out of commission and I wanted to get that exercise in still. So um, I was able to do that at least to get in some exercise. And then tonight I'll probably do my regular um, lifting, which is fine. I don't need the treadmill for that. I can just run up and down the stairs for five minutes for a warm up or something like that. Um, so that way I will get in all my exercise today. And like I said, I have been fasting. I'm on my second cup of coffee and I forgot as well that I had some of this crystal light up in the drawer. It's zero calories per bottle. Um, I know a lot of people probably like, don't drink that on fasting days, but it's zero calories. You guys know as long as it's zero calories, I'm okay with it. So I've been putting that in my cup that my best friend got me from Disney. It's Beauty and the Beast. Belle's my favorite Disney princess. I inspire her to be her. Just kidding, but 
Um, I've been drinking that as well to get my water down for the day because I've been struggling with it. I always struggle for drinking water at home for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, so that's what's been happening so far today. Lots of things have been getting done around the house and answering some emails and fun stuff like that. So I'm gonna let you guys go so I can continue doing what I was doing. I might try to make some of my cookies that I usually always make with my swerve. Um, by swerve, I'm talking about like my swerve sugars that I have here. And um, see what I can come up with. See if I can make some good cookies with that stuff as well. Just experimenting. It's one of those days, I guess. But anyway, I'll let you guys go and talk to you later on this evening. Maybe before bed. We'll see. How are all you wonderful people doing this evening? I'm coming at you while I'm making my overnight oats for tomorrow morning. So I can kill two birds with one stone and get some things done while I'm talking to you guys. I uh, have had kind of a rougher fasting day. I ended up making some of these healthier version of my favorite cookies. I talked to you guys about this earlier, I can't remember. And um, I ended up trying two of them. So that means I've had about 195 calories today. Plus I had a little bit of unsweetened cocoa powder in my coffee earlier. So I've had more calories than I wanted to today, but I'm still way under my 200, which is good. Just feeling kind of meh about it, I guess I should say, because you guys know how I am about like eating on my fasting days. I hate doing it. Now I feel like I've kind of failed my fasting day, which I know I haven't. So dumb. And I was home all day today. I could have eaten so much more. And there were a couple times that I actually wanted to eat a lot more just because I was home and bored. But, uh, you know, I refrained from eating a whole meal. And all I did was try these two little cookies that were made with swerve and light butter and things like that where it's like, it doesn't matter, Rachel. It really doesn't matter what you ate and if you ate. And I need to remember this. But sometimes I wish that I could just talk to you guys in real time whenever I'm going through issues like this because I have so many wonderful people out there who support me and tell me it's okay that I did this or that today and I could really use that right now like I said I'm way under my 500 calories I know I'm way under my 500 calories so it's fine but I just I don't want to go back to breaking every so often you know because I was doing so well there I've been doing so well there the past couple weeks but I guess today's just a day so I gotta remember. Tomorrow's Ian's birthday too, so I was wanting to kind of be good this week, so that way I wouldn't feel bad eating tomorrow if I take him out to dinner to this certain place. With his schedule recently, he hasn't been getting off till pretty late, and where we're going is like a 30 minute drive, so I mean, not that it matters. We'll know where we've gone by the time this video posts. Basically, it's a restaurant I've been wanting to take him to for a long time and haven't been able to, but. Yeah, so that's kind of how my whole evening has gone. I worked out. I got in a lower body workout today, which was really nice because I haven't been able to do that in a while. And then I came upstairs and showered, and now I am meal prepping for tomorrow. So that's where I'm at in my daily life. So 
it is 8 46 i have to get up early tomorrow so that way i can go work out and then i'm gonna have to run to the store and grab a white elephant gift for the work christmas thing because i completely forgot about it so i'm gonna let you guys go so i can jump in bed here in a second wake up early and we'll go run and elliptical sounds like a sounds like a blast and here we are back at the office on my favorite day of the week tuesday when it's an eat day we're all be having caramel apple pie overnight oats for breakfast like what i showed you guys i was making last night or what i was in the process of making last night and for lunch i'm having a chicken salad that i brought so that is what my meals are for the day and then tonight for dinner i'm planning on taking ian out to this restaurant called strouds i went there a couple weeks ago with my mom more like a month or so ago actually now that i think about it he's never been before it's something i grew up with and i've been wanting to take him for ages so i'm going to take him to that tonight there's just a lot of food so i'm wanting to keep my food a little lower today just so that way i can enjoy tonight and not overthink eating and you know how i am the past couple of days i haven't felt that great about my body which has been kind of annoying to me because i was doing so well there for a couple weeks i've had some things happen on my social media accounts like instagram where i had somebody reach out and be a jerk to me you guys saw it on my last vlog and um i don't know i've just been feeling kind of down recently so i'm wanting to be good and keep on track and everything i just feel bloated and i'm hoping it's just my mind playing tricks on me which i'm sure it is it's just hard to get over that you know it's really hard too to be open and honest with people to have them turn around and throw it in your face and just be negative about it i've always prided myself of being very open and honest with you guys and that's not going to change but i just wish people were a little bit more considerate of other people's feelings but we'll get off this high horse and step back down to earth does that make sense i don't know i'm trying to be philosophical and it's too early i did come in this morning and work out though i did the treadmill and the elliptical back to the treadmill kind of like what i've been doing the past couple of times i've come in here and worked out just to get out of the way so i can spend tonight with ian i had to go to starbucks and get my white elephant gift for the day and i picked up my americano drink with the three shots of sugar-free mocha three shots of sugar-free vanilla added some half and half it tastes just like hot chocolate and it's amazing i gotta go heat it back up though since i've been trying to get things done and it's gotten a little cold so anyway i'm gonna let you guys go i have so much to do since i was out yesterday for the snow day and um try not to feel too guilty about eating the cookies that i did yesterday just the two cookies that i have and i'm beating myself up over it so stupid why am i like this someone tell me why i'm like this <sighs> anyway i'll talk to you guys later on this afternoon I just rushed home to get here as quickly as possible since I had to run to Target and get Ian a couple more little gifts for him. I decided to go ahead and get him this really neat gift. He's a huge fan of Pirates of the Caribbean and the soundtrack in the first movie is something that I always catch him listening to. And um, the Kansas City Symphony Orchestra is actually doing a movie viewing where they're playing the music along with the movie. So I got him tickets and we're gonna go see that for his birthday. And then I got him like a bottle of rum because you know, Pirates of the Caribbean, a couple bags of pretzels, things like that. But um, yeah, I got him a gift and now I'm waiting for him to get here. He's on his way home and shouldn't be here any moment now. And we're gonna head up and go get dinner. I'm really excited because I'm hungry. For breakfast this morning, I had my overnight oats, which were, they're really good guys. The caramel apple pie overnight oats, perfect. It was so tasty. I had it with a banana and I had it kind of later um, for my breakfast time, which is nice. I mean, by later, probably around 10, 15, 10, 30. So I did eat again until lunchtime and I had my chicken salad that I brought. It was a huge salad. And at one point I was like, am I even gonna be able to finish this because it's so big, um, but I did. <laughs> And uh, I haven't had anything else to eat yet. I did try a half of one of the little cheesecakes that I made Ian and gave the other half to Bowser just because I wanted to try it. But I'm trying to save my calories for dinner tonight because it's gonna be a lot of food and I'm super excited about it because it's probably one of my favorite places to eat that I grew up around. So yeah, that's kind of how today went. Like I said, I went and worked out this morning. I got on both my walks today and I'm over a lot of my calories. So I am ready for dinner. In other words, Rachel's hungry. And let's hope she don't get hangry, but I'll be fine. I ate earlier. I can chuck some water if I need to. And like I said, Ian will be home soon. So I have a gift here for him. All laid out in a bag. It's in a Santa Claus bag. It's one thing about having a distant birthday. You get a lot of Christmas and birthday in the same gift, which kind of sucks. But I have a June birthday. I can't uh, complain. <laughs> 
I'm gonna let you guys go and I will talk to you later on tonight when I sign out of part one's vlog. I did it again. I didn't vlog last night when I got home. Mostly because by the time that Ian and I were out of our food coma, we were so tired, we just wanted to go home and go to bed. And somebody left some goodies here. Looks like a cheesecake. They didn't put it in the fridge either, so I don't know how good it is now. Isn't cheesecake supposed to be put back into the refrigerator after it's been taken out? Thanks. Anyway, moving on. Um, last night, got home, gave Ian his gifts. We really appreciated them, which made my heart happy. And then we went out to Stroud's and we ate a lot of food. I got fried chicken, he got catfish, came with salad, sides, cinnamon rolls. I didn't count my calories because it doesn't matter. I enjoyed the time I had my, my fiance on his birthday. And even though today I'm facing some consequences in the way of bloat, I know that with a day of fasting or two, um, watching what I eat on Thursday, I will be back to normal and it won't be that big of a deal because I enjoy the time that I have with him. That's one thing that I want you guys to understand is I do beat myself up on social events or after social events, but during the time that those events are happening, I'm usually always enjoying myself. And I want to be able to live my life and not worry so much about the consequences. The next day I might feel a little guilty about it. I might beat myself up, but in the long run, I guess, enjoy the time you have with your loved ones because being at a certain weight or wanting to lose a little bit of weight and not enjoying the time that you have with your loved ones, you could very well regret it later on. So I try to keep that in mind anymore. I used to be really bad about not and just like avoiding situations and stuff like that just because I was afraid that if I ate too much, then I was going to fail or break my progress, but I know it's not the case. And fasting is amazing when it comes to getting rid of inflammation after eating a bunch. If you're worried about it, um, if you're worried about building up like a balloon or eating too many carbs or whatever, fast the next day and it really, really reverses the whole thing. That's kind of one of the reasons why I do continue fasting is I'm able to eat what I want because I know the next day I'll be fasting and not eating. So I'll feel better about myself the following day, if that makes sense. So, there's that. It's morning now though, it is six o'clock. I'm burning up in this sweater already. I wasn't gonna do my hair, I decided not to. I'm just gonna leave it a mess. Keep it in a high ponytail. I never wear my hair in a ponytail anyway, so um, a little something different, I guess. I'm gonna put on my makeup though and get to work. I feel like I didn't get caught up at all yesterday, so I really need to focus and do that thing since I was out Monday. So I'm gonna let you guys go and go ahead and sign out of part one's vlog for the week and say thank you so much guys for stopping by and watching. The support you've showed me the past week has been phenomenal and I would not be where I am or who I am if it wasn't for you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one.